so yeah, after the Queen died, uh, there was a Nintendo Direct, which everyone was like, "Oh my God, they're going to delay the Direct because." Um, <laughs> which is more, uh, which is more influential, the Queen dying or the Nintendo Direct? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, like there were so many tweets that were like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, no, "How will this affect this. the Nintendo Direct?" And it's like the world imploding, and everyone's like. But how will this affect the September Direct? Um, <laughs> personally, need to know. How will the end of the world affect my Nintendo Direct? Hello and welcome to the Joystick Drift Podcast, episode 13. This is our Nintendo in 2022 recap and review. We're going to be going over everything Nintendo that happened in the year 2022 and giving our thoughts. Was it a good year? Was it a bad year? Was it somewhat of a mid-year? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're also going to go over our personal Switch in 2022 stats because they literally dropped today, which is a godsend. Thank you, Nintendo. Uh... Which makes me feel a lot better about getting sick yesterday and having to delay recording to today because we wouldn't have had those <laughs> stats a lot. If, if we recorded last night. So I look at it as a good thing. Anyway, with that being said, this is also going to be our last episode of 2022. I know. Whoa. Big sad. We're going on a two-week break. We'll be back on, let me check the calendar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bro, that's my favorite January day. January 11th. <laughs> Uh, January 11th is when we're coming back. Um, and I, I actually don't know what the episode is yet. That's what the break is for, is to figure that out. Wow. Um, but, yeah, this will be the last episode, taking a two-week break. There will still be videos on the YouTube channel, though. Or, well, there should be. Um, on Wednesdays, so the channel won't be, like, dead for two weeks. There will still be content. We're just taking a break from the podcast because, you know, Christmas and New Year's is, is, is whack, bro. Like, scheduling is whack. So... With all that out of the way, I want to hear how my co-hosts have been this week. And I'm going to start off with Colin, because Colin never gets to go first. So, Colin, <laughs> Didn't I go tell first me, like two weeks ago? How are you ago? doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Tell me, how are you doing? Uh, not amazing. Uh, I've been very, like, violently sick for the past, like, few days. Violently um, sick. But... I'm feeling better now, so if I sound a bit under the weather, that'd be why, but uh, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm glad we didn't record yesterday, because I would have been dead. Um, Dude, same. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, been playing, uh, I picked up an, an older game, by older, I mean, like, a game I haven't played in a while. Uh, I picked <laughs> up Doom 2016, uh, and I've been wanting to uh, finish that game, so I'm doing that now. So that's fun. Nice. But yeah. It's yeah, been good. I feel that. It's uh it's that time of year where literally everyone gets sick for no reason. Um <laughs> so it is what it is. If you get sick, listen to the podcast. It'll make you feel better. I know because I didn't listen to the podcast while I was sick yesterday, but I did watch YouTube videos, so I know that helps. Uh Melena, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Week? I have a schedule change, so I'm working graveyard shift, which is fun. I, but they don't call it graveyard shift. They call it morning shift. So 12 to 8 a.m. Woo. <laughs> Starts I mean, right after this recording. It is morning shift. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is also another reason we're taking a break is so we can recalibrate our recording schedule. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. everything just kind of kind of worked out. You know what I mean? Exactly. But I've been playing uh, Breath of the Wild a lot more recently. So just messing around with that and uh i recently just got okami because i found out it's on the switch and it's hd and i'm like i love that game so we're gonna play it <laughs> what is hold on what is okami I <gasps> how do you not it looks know looks like a it's that fox game oh that's a, oh my god that's not Ooh, a fox a alex <laughs> it's a it's a hideki kamiya game yeah, Isn't it is. Isn't he the guy who did Death Stranding? 
who was on stage at the Game Awards and was like, look at me. I got a new Death Stranding game. Is that wrong? What are you saying? <laughs> talking about the creator of the game. Are you game? talking about Kojima? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're you're yes, getting two about... <laughs> very different people confused. Wow, you are I mean, you like... are you are getting Hideki Kamiya and Hideo Kojima. I would like to uh, nominate this award to my <laughs> Reformed <laughs> Orthodox <laughs> Rabbi Bill Clinton. What the frick was that? Oh my but god. But anyway, okay. no. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, Okami good. Hideki Kamiya not good. Oh. Hideki Kamiya, is, is, Hideki Kamiya is the guy who blocks people who speak English to him on Twitter. Oh! Wait, isn't that the guy who made Bayonetta 3? Yes. Oh, that's why that name is so familiar. He yes. actually blocked me on Twitter. Yep. I replied to one of his <laughs> tweets and I said, getting blocked by Hideki Kamiya speedrun any percent no glitch. Within 10 minutes, blocked. It was <laughs> <laughs> New record. New no, no, record. I... Uh, put it quick. Put it up on the speedrun boards. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to play Okami. So I watched it, God, years ago. I watched a YouTuber play it, and I was like, I love the art style, and I love it so much. So, gonna enjoy that over the holidays. Nice. Uh, Alex, your turn. So I got Xenoblade Chronicles Three while looking for Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, Integrade which is just a regular Final Fantasy VII remake, but with an extended, with a little extension to the story showing off Yu Yuffie. And if you don't know, she's the, she's the girl who has the giant shuriken. Uh-huh. I mean, I wouldn't know because I've literally never played a Final Fantasy game, but I'll take your word for it. And I've also been playing a lot of Sword Art Online Fatal Bullets. How's that going for you? Is well, that good? Bad? Ugly? Oh, it's good. Well, it's tough for a lot of parts. I encountered a boss that just wouldn't die and kept uh, summoning minions that also wouldn't die despite me being 30 levels above them. Dang. And, yeah, it sounds like Xenoblade. <laughs> and that, and <laughs> yesterday I realized that it's not, and it, it's not the aftermath of the GGO, the season two with GGO. What You're is getting is like... into that part. Ah. But it makes... I was like confused. Wait a minute. This isn't how it is. It's like, first of all, one of the characters that they didn't meet until long after GGO is somehow playing GGO. I think it's Yuki. Um... Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Is it like the, the pop star girl, I think? Or is it the one who dies because sick? Yeah, that one. She dies because she's sick. <laughs> the she's one who somehow dies in because GG sick. She's in GGO. Kito and his friends are also in GGO, even though Kito went in first to find out about Death Gun. I don't know. It it's like a whole it's like a whole different twist of a chapter. Just just throw continuity out the window. <laughs> exactly. We don't need continuity. Because why does that matter? Cringe. But other than that, it's it's fun. I've just been using the lightsaber a lot, though. Understandable. Why use a gun when you can use a sword? That literally does over a thousand damage per hit, but gets exactly. you into so much trouble because you can literally get one shot headshot with a sniper, and the AI are literally way too accurate. Dang, that sounds like Fortnite. <laughs> Dude, you can't even block. Except in for that the game. AI being accurate part, that's not true. Dude, you can't even block can't in that game. Squat. Colin and I are just chilling. You here. can't block. In Sword Art or Fortnite? Sword Art. You can't block with a sword. Eh, cringe. <laughs> Imagine. But Nick, able to how block. how's your week been? Um, fantastic. Huh. Um, Besides for from a being gaming, sick. for for a gaming. Well, I was sick. Um, but for a gaming podcast, I have not done much gaming in the last like week. Um, I, I think can feel that. Last week, I was so busy with editing projects and stuff. Um, I literally did not get a chance to play anything. I may have played Fortnite like once. And then I was gone all weekend. And I played Fortnite today for like an hour. And then I went had to go back to work. Uh, so I'm hoping that over the break, I can get back into Persona 5. 
uh, because I want to finish that. Bef hopefully before the end of the year, but the odds of that happening are very slim. Uh, but also, they're adding Mr. Beast and My Hero to Fortnite, so can we get F in the chat for my wallet? Um, it's going to be a long weekend. And um, my wallet also, as well. by the time this episode comes out, we should have hopefully not only streamed the My Hero skins in Fortnite, but Colin and I are going to stream Doki Doki Literature Club because I finally got the cord I need for the Elgato capture card so I can stream my Switch in glorious 1080p HD kind of and play Doki Doki Literature Club. So it's going to be great. You can go watch the VOD assuming the stream happened uh, and that's great. But I do want to mention real quick before we talk about Nintendo, I want to say hot diggity dang. You guys are going crazy on the youtube like in the last two weeks we've gone up 200 subscribers which is fantastic the support is awesome that's why the content is still flowing because you guys want content i want to make content it just kind of it's a it's a win-win for everyone so 261 subs as of time of recording and honest to god by this episode comes out it could be 400 i don't know um <laughs> That'd at the way amazing. it's going, we're getting like 100 subs every 7 to 10 days. Um, so, I don't know. Who's to say? But, with that being said, let's talk about Nintendo in the year 2022. Woo. This was a great year for Nintendo. And that's about <laughs> all I have to say. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next we'll year. We'll see you next time. <laughs> that's it. All we care about is Nick's opinion. Oh, Colin has left. Yeah, there's nothing else for me to say. I mean, it was a good Wait, year. Wait, you said we're done. Do you have a, we got, is that a stitch yeah. pillow? Huh? Is that a stitch pillow? It is. I have the same one! <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I no, love that. I have, I have Stitch. I have a dog. I have Eevee. I have an axolotl. I have Baby Yoda and a chicken. That's actually a turkey. It's a turkey. <laughs> I love nice. this. It's so, oh my god! It's okay. uh, it's the 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 turkey when it gets stuck on Joey's head from Friends. Yes, I remember. Unfortunately, Respect I've never the seen reference. that show. You should watch it. It's good. It's a really good show. So I'm looking through notable releases <laughs> for 2022. Are there um, any? I'll I'll be honest. I've never. I meant like Persona. like big big ones besides Bayonetta three. <laughs> Ooh no! Don't do that. Do not do I that. I don't God remember. You realize All right, that's why I we're really... that's why we're going down the list. I don't remember. I, right. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Now there's a now what my sensitivity showed up on screen. Our first big release is Pokemon Legends. Po Arceus. Arceus. Okay. Arceus. I wanted someone else to say it first. I didn't want Arceus. to say it wrong. Oh. Um, <laughs> I've I've called it Arceus at first. Yeah. So, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Did anyone here play it? Nope. I have not. I played the first three hours of it. <laughs> the first so you didn't even get What happened to the rest of the hours? I didn't like the game, so I stopped Wait, playing so it. Wait, so are you telling me you didn't even get through the tutorial? Because the tutorial is like four hours, isn't it? Uh, no, I didn't get through the tutorial. Um... <laughs> okay, wait. Can I point out is that I thought that game came out last year. That's uh, I think a well, lot of people it thought it came out last year. Of this year. It came out at the beginning of this year. Oh, that's so. bad Shout timing out. then, because literally I don't think anybody remembers it because it was bad, apparently. Shout out what, to you. I don't think it was bad. It. I well, think bad, it was but... just like, it was very good for what it wanted to do, and a lot of people really liked it. I just was not one of the people who liked it. <laughs> uh, I was honestly hoping that it was going to be like, a platinum Pokemon Platinum remake. When I first heard about it, because they I already mean, released a, a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I'm like, ooh, a Platinum remake. All right, so and I'm like, oh no, this is a different. We got game. we got both the games here, so. Oh, you like Palkia? I do like Palkia. I've always liked Palkia more. Um, I like Dialga. So. Uh, so call him. Drop my Xenoblade like steel book. God. Colin likes oh, the I God forgot. Of space. Colin has the Xenoblade Steel book. I do ah! have the Xenoblade Steel book. Ooh. It's great. Emily Colin likes the God of Space. Emily likes the God of Time. So anyway. together, God of Space and Time. And yeah. I like, and I like the God of the Distortion World. Giratina. 
Yes. So I forgot about Giratina. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go down a bit of things. we since this one came out last year, but this one came out this year. So this one got hated a lot. A lot of people didn't like th- like this one. I did. did you? Oh, I yes, loved did. I loved Brilliant Diamond and uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Why did people hate it? Isn't it just a remake? People didn't like one it. One of because... the main reasons is the sprites. Yeah, they they oh. did, went with a different style than they had for the previous remakes, which was a more chibi style, and um... they didn't necessarily do a lot of kind of updates to the world like uh. they have done in the past. Gotcha. However, it... one thing I'll say is that doesn't make Sinnoh the region any less bad and it is just mainly a remaster of the game which i love seno and i i think this game was one of the most fun that i've had with a pokemon game in a long time i know that's controversial since it was a mainly hated game but it was still a lot of a lot of fun that i had uh, now this game however <laughs> back on topic to legends arceus since that came out um I played the first three hours of that game, and I was like, "This is fun," but I'm just not into it, <laughs> and I just don't. I just don't like it. It's like, I I want to like this game, but I just can't. It's boring. It's extremely boring. Damn. And uh, my, yeah. my biggest complaint with uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is that that I would I thought they would fix a problem with the original DS games of Diamond and Pearl, mm-hmm. which which is Flint. The most disappointing fire type trainer I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> he only has two fire types, and the rest are just different. He has a Drip Limb, Ami Palm, and Steelix, which are not fire types. Yeah. They fixed that in Platinum. Yeah. But Brilliant Diamond Shining Bro, no, let's not have Magmortar or Flareon yeah. or anything else. It, Can I, I think also that's my point biggest out- complaint. That in the last calendar 365 days, uh, there have been five Pokemon games put out. Yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. that's insane Mm -hmm. to me. That One, you got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Which were November of last year. Yeah. And then they turned around in January and dropped Legends Arceus. And I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. (laughs) Whoa, 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 whoa. And then, literally, like, Arceus wasn't even out the door for yeah. like what two or three weeks and then they're like bam we got scarlet and violet coming in november yeah like like, like the pokemon company's hurting for money like yeah huh <laughs> and then you have which we'll get to it a little later on the list is scarlet and violet and i haven't played it but i've seen all the videos and stuff and like i beat that game you see how like the condition that that game came out in and the fact that nintendo apologized for the quality and the state that that game came out in and you think well Maybe it could have been delayed six months. Maybe yeah. it could have been delayed to next November. Like, yeah. which you know, there's gonna be another Pokemon game next November. Like, yeah, they're gonna just churn something out next year, and because there's a Pokemon game every year. Yeah, and and that is a huge issue that the Pokemon Company itself has had and Game Freak has had is that they very much are about having that yearly game, whether or not it's finished or not, and. Which it's sucks. just kind of bad. Like I, when I saw that Scarlet and Violet was coming out in November, okay. and when they announced it, I was like, "This game's gonna be rushed, incredibly rushed," and it was. But I mean, even then, and I know we'll get to it later, there were people who still very much enjoyed that game. I did. So, yeah. yeah. So it opened my eyes to my new favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Which was originally Charizard, mm-hmm. oh, but That's now, awesome. but now it's a nightmare for for people who played the Sinnoh region. Ooh. Garchomp. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward. Oh I love God. Garchomp. Pokemon still haunts me to this day from that region. That would be, I you know, that would, that would be a cool topic to go over, like kind of like the rise and fall of Pokemon Company. Oh, the, you already know. Ooh. I won't be on that episode. <laughs> But we already know. Well, I mean, we already have a request for that episode. Actually, we do. Exactly. We do. See, so guys, I'm... we we read we read and listen to people's uh, comments and requests. So, so I'll be happy to host that episode. Go they for it. They do. I, I have it. And we'll pro- we'll most likely have a special guest on. So, true. <laughs> so, 
after Legends Arceus, the next big thing this year was the Nintendo Direct, which everybody loves mm. Nintendo Directs. Oh, um, yeah. There's a there's a certain kind of euphoria that comes with Nintendo Directs. Like it's just a different feeling to sit down and watch a game company say, "Hey, here's how you're gonna spend your money <laughs> for the rest of the year." Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Uh, the only notable things I remember from that Direct was what they announced. Mario Strikers, Mario Kart DLC, Xenoblade, Switch Sports, uh, and a bunch of other stuff that I don't remember uh, half clearly. Of the games oh, the you Fire list- Emblem game. Half um, of the games you listed there were all flops. No, uh, <laughs> actually, like, it's true. Like the only thing you announced that wasn't a flop was the Mario Kart DLC and what else? Um, Xenoblade. Excuse Xenoblade. You. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. what else? <laughs> Listen, I forgot Xenoblade was announced in that direct or was put in that direct. Which, hey, Xenoblade got bumped from September to it did July, oh, which Splatoon. is like the first time Nintendo's ever done that. Oh yeah, Splatoon three yeah. is on here. Uh, we'll we'll get to it because it's a yeah. September game. Did they announce after Persona that, Five Royale there or after? No, that was in the um, the that partner was an showcase in June. Wasn't that an independent uh, announcement? No. Oh, really? Okay. I was thinking the well, Xbox one. The Xbox one. Was they did a... the E3 yeah. thing, or like the Summer Games Fest or whatever, and Xbox yeah. announced they were getting Persona 3 through 5, yeah. and then everyone assumed, oh, well, we've broken free from PlayStation, which means they're coming to Switch, which it was then later confirmed like two weeks later ah. that they were coming to Switch. So yeah. Cool. After the Direct, we got Mario Kart Booster Course Wave 1, which, Loki, I know everyone's like Mario Kart 9. But I think the DLC was a good move because it was a very good twenty-five dollars for doubling the number of courses in the game. That sounds like a fair shake to me. And it just automatically I, updates. Yeah. yeah, I do wish they got um, they added like more characters and more carts and stuff, and it was a little bit more yeah. of a full DLC. Um, which give us that, Diddy Kong, <laughs> give us Funky Kong, yeah. the two, the him two, yeah. Who knows? Maybe they'll add them to the game after the Mario movie comes out because yeah. they're in carts in the movie and then everyone's going to be like, well, why can't I have it? And then they're like, ha ha, gotcha. And then, the <laughs> and then they don't. And then they don't. Speaking of game, well, oh man. Uh, that was going to be a good segue. Uh, I was going to say, speaking of games, Nintendo doesn't update. Nintendo Switch Sports. But between Switch Sports <laughs> and Mario Kart is uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which... I, I wanted to play. play that so bad. I never I never got it, but I plan on playing it, and I've heard it's it really good. It did. Congrats, Nintendo. It won Best Family Game at the Game Awards, so that's pretty dope. Has uh, some killer music. That's what I've heard, is the music was really good. Um, and everyone's like, wasn't nominated for Best Soundtrack, which Garby is a shame. But, Garby over the years know. has had great music. Very underrated. I'm going to take a break from Twitter. <laughs> So random. Uh, Alex, what does that <laughs> mean? Do. What does that mean, Alex? What did you see that you want to take a break from Twitter? Nothing I'll send it to you. Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Nobody yes, wants to know. <laughs> After Kirby know. was Nintendo Switch Sports, which I never got that. Yeah, you I know, never got it. I bought it launch day because <laughs> I'm like, it can't, it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> I'm gonna it give him the benefit bad, of the doubt. Everybody. It was that bad. I bet you wish you were dreaming that you went and bought it. Like I I'm just thinking, wish I didn't spend the forty dollars on it, Loki. Could you imagine if they like announced that game fully and then didn't say anything about the Mies? The Mies weren't even there, and they <laughs> sold that game because then it would have been even more of a flop. Because the Mies weren't there, and of Here's course, thing. Matt himself would not be there. Matt wasn't there till like, two months after launch. And the weird thing about Switch Sports is, like, all they had to do was remaster Wii they Sports. They really did. In HD. Yeah. Just make that Wii was Sports. It. Just well, remaster that Wii Sports Resort. Remaster Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. So that's, like, Just it's a put them thing. together in one game, make, it, make that Nintendo Switch Sports... I was I was excited instant, for sword play on that 10 game. Ten million sellers. It sucked. But the thing is, like, Switch Sports is missing. Well, it has golf now, 
But we shouldn't have had to wait, what, April to November. How many months is that? Four to, uh, it's like uh, seven months, I think. Yeah. Uh, we shouldn't <laughs> Bro, have had to wait know. seven I months keep up with that game. <laughs> to get golf. And, like, there's still no baseball. There's still no boxing. Like, the two big iconic sports from... There isn't boxing? Switch sports. Yeah, there's no boxing. That's so dumb. And there's no excuse because Nintendo put out ARMS, which is a boxing game. So, it's like, true. it's not like the Switch but can't maybe, do boxing. Maybe, maybe it's because everyone's afraid of mats. Let me, let me, let me double check something. Let me double check something. And they so, also... What was, what was that other, like, I guess, fit game, was it? It was, like, a... Oh, Ring Fit? Oh, dude, Ring Fit Adventure? I Solid have it. Game. It's really good. I lost one of the straps, though, so... <laughs> Never played it. I just saw in stores, is and I'm it, like, why is would it, anyone play this game? Is it bad that I forgot when Mario Golf came out? I'm was gonna that be last real. year? That was last year. That was last oh, year. I forgot it even existed. I thought, the, okay, I, I, oh. I thought <laughs> it came sworn, out years ago. Like... I, I I thought it either came out like three years ago or it came out this year, Damn. because th like there was no in between. I was like, low key, Nintendo. Listen, you're kind of slacking on your sports games. They all kind of suck. Bro, give in us another Switch Mario generation. basketball game. Ooh, <gasps> oh my god, do you remember that Mario basketball Mario game? Mario um, three on three. Yes, I loved that game. I was obsessed with it. That here's was a, here's that an was. Idea. Uh, so in in my hometown, there was a uh, there was like the one of the last remaining blockbusters, and I remember renting Mario Hoops three on three from <laughs> Blockbuster, wow. and then the Blockbuster went out of business, <laughs> so I just got to keep the game. <laughs> <laughs> nice score. Here's an idea. Nintendo, give us a nar give us another Mario baseball game. Didn't we get one on Switch? No. Isn't that Strikers? No, Mario Super no. Sluggers. Slugger yes, oh, Sluggers. Sluggers. Strikers is the uh the is soccer the, game. Which we did get a new Strikers game. game. <laughs> is another is oh. Mario Strikers. That, yeah, yeah, that's, Mario a, that's Strikers, another that's another topic. <laughs> that's another that's literally the next big game. So we're going Mario to are we going there? Yeah, that's another All right, bad game. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Mario Strikers, that's a bad game. Also, Damn. who's who decided to drop two sports games back to back? Like Nintendo. Who, is, who in the scheduling department was like, you know, Switch Sports, and then Mario Strikers? Well, like it's just what? one one was like. Here, here was the thing with with Switch Sports. They were like, here is what you're getting. With Strikers, they were like. Here is what we think you guys will think you're gonna get, and then you're not gonna get it because we lied. <laughs> they just put out the last DLC this week. Yeah, and there still the wasn't free full, DLC. There, update. there still wasn't. What is it? It's is it two on two or four for on what, four? Mario that, Strikers Battle League that everyone yeah. was asking for. The last DLC already. Yeah, yeah, they're done. Wow, which is so stupid. Yeah, like I I I don't remember what it was. Was it was it? Two on two that everybody was asking for, or was it four on four that everyone was asking for? Uh, it might have been two on two. I don't know. I didn't. But it was the like game. it was only like the the multiplayer there was just stupid, and it and no and like nobody asked for it. Dude, I had so much fun with Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii. Yeah, that's what everybody wanted. I mean, the game looked great. Like the. Like the character designs and stuff was great. Oh yeah, no. Shout out to Shy and Guys then the game losing screen. Just wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, Nintendo, do better with your DLC. And also stop releasing half finished games yeah. for sixty dollars. Yeah. That's another thing. Like Have you they seen disguise Call of Duty? it as well Okay. That's Listen. <laughs> <laughs> that might partially be to blame. So uh -huh. that's true. <laughs> but also like Nintendo has gotten in the really nasty habit of we're going to drop an unfinished game for $60 and then to give ourselves more development time, we're going to say we're adding stuff. They did this with Animal Crossing, which is like a 30 million plus seller. And then they did it with Switch Sports. And I'm pretty sure they did it with Mario Golf. Well, wait, 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 wait. And now they did it with Mario Strikers. Wait, I'm going like, to I'm going to defend the Animal Crossing one at least because with Animal Crossing you can get away with that. But then they they yeah. they made the mistake of like 
oh, it worked with Animal Crossing. Let's do it with other games too. That was the mistake. Man, I still they wish there was just... more. I just wish there was more content in Animal Crossing. Me too. I literally <laughs> I have not played Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing once this year. Like, like oh, I know. the big update they did last year was cool, I guess, but there's nothing. And I don't know why they cut off support. It's, it's. I'm pretty sure it's their highest selling game aside from Mario Kart. So it's like, hey, there's a big profitable audience there who would definitely buy more DLC. Whoa. <laughs> Reminder, I put 475 hours into that game and then just stopped playing it. Yeah, I put I, in like 425. Because I ran out of stuff to do. I never liked Animal Crossing. The only Animal Crossing game I played was the DS1 Wild World. Oh. I, I played the crap it. out of uh, New Leaf. On That's what I played too. I played New Leaf. I like that one. And then I was so excited for New Horizons and then it was... It was okay, I guess. Like, it was a game that came out on the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> that I put 425 hours into. I, I never knew, like, what the point was of Animal Crossing. I was just so used to... I guess I was just used to fight off villains, save, save a damsel in distress. Yeah, that, that game wouldn't suit you then. That's not the genre that you like, so... <laughs> well, that was that, yeah. that's what I was used to at the time. That's all I oh, thought yeah. games were, just oh, fighting. Oh, yeah, sure. Of, of course, you know, I only picked it up for like, oh, well, I got it when it came out and then I played it for about the first week and then forgot to play it and I've never played it since. Yeah. So after Mario Strikers is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, which I did not play because I haven't played Three Houses. So it's, I didn't care for it because I haven't played it. It's three a Warriors houses. game. That's. Yeah. That's all I can really say yeah. about it. It's a Warriors game, and it it it, it came out. <laughs> it's it's a game, and it came out, and yeah. <laughs> Moving on, the next big release, Xenoblade Chronicles Three. Um, aside from all of the special edition drama, um, I'm not going to be able to play that game for with a while. Yeah, so pre-orders being whack, and the Nintendo site sucking. Um, and this then is a trophy for me. Delayed. I think it's a trophy for a lot of people. <laughs> like, I only got, dude. That steel book cover is better than my Spider-Man 2018 steel cover. I wish book. I had the steel book cover. Honestly, the only, the only problem I have with the steel book is it is extremely like, Fragile. extremely flimsy. Like it oh. is like I don't know if you can see oh. it, but it is. Let me let me focus it on it. Like, you can, you really see it kind of. Oh. That's not good. Like, yeah. Oh, it, gosh. It, yeah. Like, it, what I really dented. don't like. What huh? I don't like that they did with the special edition is in Japan, they're selling the steel book and the art book separately, but they're not doing it in the U.S. And I'm they're like. They're doing it in the U.K. as well. Yeah, what? what the heck? Why does the U.S. always get slighted? What? Like, come <laughs> it's, on. It's like when it's the not first fair. one came out, they didn't even sell it over here. Wow. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> why does Why does Nintendo screw over U.S. Oh, no, players? Colin, we got Final you Fantasy Mystic like, Quest. Colin, you only have like 10 months left to live yep. based on that term marker. Oh, no. Yep. Sucks to be you. But, hey, the artwork on that is a lot better than Spider-Man 2018 because the one on my Spider-Man 2018 steel cover is just Spider-Man's logo. That's it. Nice. On a oh, on a plain I, solid red. I never mentioned this, but when I went to GameStop to get Sonic Frontiers, I went on launch day, um, and the guy at GameStop was like, "Did you pre-order?" And I said, "No, I literally did not want this game until today." And he was like, "Okay, cool. Well, I have some extras of these, so I'm gonna give you one." And he gave me an mm. Xbox Steelbook case for a game that I now don't like. <laughs> So that no one likes. <laughs> I have again? a steelbook cover, but it's for Xbox, so there's a so it's got the disc slot instead of having a little cartridge thing because they didn't do it for Switch, which is dumb. Uh, what was the game again? Sonic, Sonic Frontiers. Frontiers. Oh. But yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles Three, banger game. Everyone should play it. Uh, I know everyone here will have played it at some point. Um, Alex just has to you know get Definitive Edition and start there. And uh, put 50 to 75 hours into that one. And then play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and put 50 to 75 hours in that one. And then he can play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, so it's really an investment. 
and then hopefully I'll be able to start playing Persona 5 because I really I really don't think I'll be able to play that game in here because my TV is all the way up there and I don't want to play Persona 5 in tablet mode. I want to be able to just sit back on my couch, look at my TV and play the game. I mean, I mean hey, granted, look, I could just turn around <laughs> right there. You could, yeah, my TV is right there. I literally just like push my chair off the desk and spin and my TV is right there. It's great. I can't do that. Mine is just a base. It doesn't have wheels. Dang, sucks to suck. Do any of yours recline? Oh yeah, mine reclines. I'm not gonna do it now though. Ignore <laughs> that. Smacked over one of his lights. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens that. when you show Dang, off. That sucks. <laughs> uh, wait. All right. <laughs> Mine didn't. There we go. I think, I'm sorry. No. His I face, he like went back and he went. <laughs> <laughs> my, I my, I'll be honest. I forgot it was there. <laughs> the cable on my, uh, my IEMs are like too short, so I can't do that unless oh. i take hold on my oh, here he goes bam <laughs> my headsets are usb so my my me my headphones plug right into the right into the computer Mine's so pretty long so. i'm only limited on how far i can go too uh so yeah xenoblade was great um we did a whole episode on it though so if you want to go listen to us deep dive about xenoblade you can you can go do that and by Maybe we he means him and colin yeah uh Maybe I'll put a card up in the in the corner. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, after that was the second wave of the Mario Kart DLC, which same as the first wave. It was good. Glad they added more tracks. Um, they had an original track in there. They did. And I'm glad they're doing that because it's not just like ported tracks, which exactly. is great. Exactly. It's not my favorite track, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it kind of sucks. It's, Yo, it you, kinda... know what's a great, you know what's a great track? Ninja Rainbow Road. Away. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, no, it's a great track. Uh, 3DS Rainbow Road. I mean, you're. I mean, two things can be right at once. I mean, I mean they. I mean they're they both did good. They're both good. They're school. both good tracks. Ninja Hideaway is a phenomenal track. 3DS Rainbow Road is a phenomenal track. You know what is the best track though? Moo Moo Meadows. Moo Moo Meadows. Moo Moo Meadows. <laughs> no, True. nah. It has to go to the. It has to go to Rainbow Road. No. No. Which the one? one There's so many. Sucks. The one that is a nightmare to do 200 CC on. Does oh, the he? one, Switch. the one for Mario Kart 8, like the original. Yeah. That one for that. Does okay. he? He does. Exactly. Is his body ready? After yes. uh, after Mario Kart <laughs> is. You don't know that Kirby's... quote, do you, Melina? Nope. It's, it's from Melina Reggie. doesn't know that quote. She's oh, fired. it's from Reggie. Right. My body okay. is ready. Now I understand okay. it. <laughs> Did it's anyone still, here though. play Kirby's Dream Buffet? No. no, I've never really okay. be, been into Kirby until I got my hands on my Nintendo Classic. I know some people Fair. who because I just ran out of games to play. I have uh, um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which is my favorite Kirby game. So, I mean, I've only heard bad things about Kirby's Dream Buffet. Oh, um, <laughs> so I don't know. It was like a fifteen dollar eShop game. So, no, it's like fifteen know. bucks. Why are people crying over it? Because it wasn't a great game. Like, just gameplay-wise. At least it wasn't, it wasn't $60 in a bad game. Well, no, <laughs> not. Doesn't mean it's not a bad game. Uh, next it up. It just means it's a, it means it's more worth the price. Exactly. Also, Platoon 3. for any Sonic Frontier fans or just Sonic fans in general, we don't mean to hate on you. Like, it, it, I'm sure you agree that it's bad, but... <laughs> But your game sucks. If it, uh, if it's, I'm a Sonic no, no, fan no. myself. If it's any I'm consolation, offended. if it's any consolation though for you guys, we did cheer for you guys to win fan voice instead of Genshin. So <laughs> Genshin yeah, frick wins. the Genshin fans. Um, they're kind of cringe. Okay, I actually made a meme of Sonic fans after the Game Awards. Should I put it in the Discord? Yes, I think I saw. Isn't it. that the one you? Put Colin in has it? not seen it. Have you? Isn't that the one you said in the Instagram? Well, Colin, tell us about Splatoon 3, because I think you're the only one here who's actually played it. Oh, oh yeah. what? I want okay, to play it. I um, just don't have it. I only have the first Splatoon. I never got the second I can't one. Don't have the I third. can't send in Discord. Is it too large? Apparently, a six-second video, you know, is an MO... The video is an MOV file, so... Splatoon um, 3? It's real good. Nice. I mean, it did sell, like, what, eight-point-something million copies in the first three days? It's real uh, good. 
Is the story good? So I'll, I'll just show the, the video, video once we're done. I've played in one of the one of the uh, like three Splatfests that have happened, and uh, oh. they're very chaotic. Yeah, that sounds about right. Tricolor is not fun. <laughs> so Damn. there we go. I'm listening to Xenoblade music while we record, and I just swapped out my track. So Man, if you if you look back on the footage, like a, a few minutes ago, I was absolutely grooving to a butterfly kiss from <laughs> Persona Five. Nice. Uh, Nick, how about I send it to you, and then you can send it to Colin, probably, because I can't uh, send it. Yeah, but we can do it when we finish. Li like <laughs> live meme reaction. <laughs> Live meme review. Uh, Live slug it's, reaction. It's, it's original because no one has. I've never seen it. Probably people have forgotten the series that I screen recorded to make the meme. After Splatoon three on September 9th, Um, well, actually, somewhere in there, the Queen of England died, <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone was worried that the Splatoon September Nintendo Direct was going to be. <laughs> it kind of did. <laughs> Okay, did um, you guys see the did you guys see the like all the memes about how Jay Schlatt was the one who actually killed the uh, Queen of England? <laughs> yes. Oh because my God. literally he was no, like, not. like right before uh or right as he was leaving uh oh, the UK, that. he was like, Man, I had a great time in the UK and then got on a plane and then the Queen died. <laughs> <laughs> and then he landed and he was like, it. I promise There's I a lot didn't of hidden kill murders the queen. In the royal a lot of hidden murders in the royal family. Jay Slam kills the queen of England. Queen of England kills Princess Diana. <laughs> like, there were just Platoon like... Platoon 3 kills Jay Schlatt. <laughs> yeah. There was like, um, there was a lot of like... Like, uh, a Mr. Beast memes. kills T-Series. There, there were a ton of memes where it's like, people were looking back when it was like, me uh, me and the boy is going to kill the Queen of England on this day, and it was the exact same day she died, and they were like, I love oh, this shit. video so much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, after the Queen died, uh, there was a Nintendo Direct, which everyone was like, oh my god, they're going to delay the Direct because... Um, which is more uh, which is more influential, the Queen dying and the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, like... There were so many tweets that were like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, no, how will this affect this. the Nintendo Direct? And it's like the world imploding and everyone's like, but how will this affect the September Direct? Um, <laughs> personally need to know, how will the end of the world affect my Nintendo Direct? Which I do think it's funny. In that Nintendo Direct, they then announced the title for Breath of the Wild 2, which was Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. Which I can understand why they would... And then it didn't release <laughs> it in the UK not. for like another two months. How does North Korea becoming the world's dominant superpower affect Nintendo Direct? Yeah, how does uh, Kim Jong Un destroying the planet affect uh, my Nintendo Direct? I need to know more <laughs> about Breath of the Wild too. Uh, this just got so yeah, chaotic. that Direct was cool. It was really just farming simulator. Mm -hmm. The uh, Direct, and then there was I watched Zelda that theme. Direct in class, and my friend, but when my friend behind me was like, "It's all just." Farming. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Did he farming. say it out loud, though? <laughs> he, he said it like, like, he whispered it, but whispered it very loudly, and some people looked over and were really confused. <laughs> it's I, all I feel just like an, farming. Okay, well, I feel like an idiot now, because I feel like an idiot now, because I was looking up Farming Simulator. Without even noticing, I typed in Mario Simulator. <laughs> Can we simulate being Mario? What yes. is that like? Yes. Uh, yeah, that direct You go was to cool Italy, which does it not was, exist. Uh, Xenoblade DLC, Mario Kart DLC. Uh, there's a Fire Emblem game coming with uh, Pepsi Chan and Colgate Coon. Or I'm sorry, it's Pepsi Coon and Colgate Chan. Um, yeah. <laughs> And He's then not wrong. That's literally farming well, no, simulators one through seventy-two. Twitter, Twitter is just uh, is not exactly calling them Colgate Chan, but it's calling them just toothpaste Chan. Just toothpaste Chan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then at the end, they were like, "By the way, um, here's a title and a date for the Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, and we will not elaborate any more this yeah. entire year." Which felt really weird <laughs> because they're like, "By the way, here's the date." Here's the title. I wonder if we'll get tell something you in March. Nothing else. Uh, well, I think it'll it'll get brought up in the next direct, which will probably be in February. Maybe. And then 
they'll probably do like a whole game direct like they did for Splatoon and Xenoblade. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they'd be like, by the way, here's everything you need to know about the game. By the way, it's actually all spoilers, which is what yeah. they did for Xenoblade. Um, which see, is always see, that's nice. When, that's one reason I am very hesitant to watch trailers because I'm just afraid of spoilers. Don't yeah. watch any of the Xenoblade trailers. They yeah. spoil those games like nobody's business. Yeah. Damn. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I was. I was always hesitant to watch movie trailers. Then I made friends at Full Sail. And then we all watch trailers together. <laughs> yeah. But game trailers, you know, I'm not that too worried of. But after hearing the Xenoblade ones, I am very hesitant now. Remember when we all watched the final Sakurai Presents last year together in class? Like there was what? There was like seven of us in the same class all sitting at the same desk and on all of our individual MacBooks. We all watched the Sakurai Presents uh, that revealed Sora. And then they dropped Sora and we all had to not scream in the middle of class uh, oh damn i would have loved to see that, that was nice and then like <laughs> the class went on break he was like okay everybody take a five minute break and then we all walked outside and just started screaming like oh my god it's <laughs> sora let's go they're adding sora to smell let's go and then you and then just... josh became a toxic sora player and um, then and then twitter hit people complain about goku not being in it goku my favorite, my she favorite, uh, Goku. She Smash character. Goku. You know, you know, one time, uh, no, this is more than one time in high school. I had a digital photography class. I was bored. So what I do, I used the school computer playing, uh, Adobe flash smash bros game. <laughs> game of the year, <laughs> that had 2023. Sora. Huh? Game of the year, 2023. It had Sora and Goku. Oh, they got one thing right. <laughs> but it was what all sixteen. It was all sixteen bits, so that made it even better. That's debatable. The next big release after the Nintendo Direct was Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, which I haven't played. I've heard it's really good. Um, I was the always first Mario confused. Rabbit's game was really fun, even though I haven't finished it. Got um, some I was always confused music. on the concept of Mario and Rabbids. Like, where's the next Raymond Rabbids? I know, I only yeah, where's, played... Where's, where's only... Rayman? I know, right? Where is he? What happened? Where's his then? attention? He's I only popular. played one Rayman game, like, when I was very little, so I barely remember it, and that, that was it. I don't... <laughs> I had Rayman Rabbids 1 and 2, and then I had Rayman Origins. I think that's the one that my sister and I Rip had. Rip Rayman. Rayman Rabbids 2. I mean, he's in the Sparks of Hope DLC. Yeah. So they brought it but back. He's for still something. not getting his own game. <laughs> R.I.P. Homie. You know, they were like, "Yo, the these rabbits. Game. They're they're selling a lot. So we're just gonna make that our own brand." <laughs> for oh the God. first Raymond Rabbids game, I was so confused on what the goal was. But then I realized, wait a minute, he's trying to escape prison using plungers. I would and do. And then it. and then the second game hit, and it was just uh, Ray Raymond's attempt at Mario Party. Basically. Next up on the list, <laughs> Bayonetta three. I <gasps> didn't uh, play it. I know none of us played it, but controversy the game. <laughs> yeah, I covered the controversy for it on my other podcast, and for some reason, it made me want to buy the original Bayonetta. Which you original did, did Bayonetta's you good. Like I, I played. I, I bought it, played it, liked it, and now I want the other games. Yeah, like, I'm really sad. I played Bayonetta 1 and 2 in preparation for Bayonetta 3, which was coming out this year, and I was like, man, this is going to be a good game. And then all the controversy hit about Bayonetta 3, and I was just like, I don't care to play Helena this game Helena Taylor. Anymore. <laughs> Helena oh. Taylor's got to be rolling and, like, rolling around on the ground right now because Bayonetta 1... What was it? Was it best action game or something? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it did. It was best action game. It yeah. did, yeah, and it Bayonetta. was really funny because Hideki Kamiya tweeted in English about it, and so someone was like, "Hey, just making sure you have to delete your account now because you know you spoke English, <laughs> so <laughs> you have to block yourself." Actually, <laughs> damn. And and there and also in that same uh, game awards show, we or no, we're not talking awards, talking direct. But in well, the same year, uh, we got Bayonetta Origins. Yeah, yeah, which comes out next year. Which, oh, yeah. 
I mean, I don't congrats care. to Nintendo for showing up at the Game Awards, I guess. Yeah. No Zelda trailer, even though you won most anticipated game, but you know, it's fine. They won, they, I'm pretty, didn't Nintendo like win quite a few awards? They won five out of the eight awards that they were nominated for. Do you know the three that they lost? Best, best soundtrack, best RPG, and game of the year, which by the way, Xenoblade was snubbed for best OST. Also, it really was. was. And best RPG. And they did not win player's voice. Well, that wasn't going to happen. There's too many Genshin fans. I mean, Genshin shouldn't have been on there to begin with because it's not a 2022 game. But all I'm saying, Xenoblade was snubbed at the Game Awards. But hearing the music live was very cool. Shout out to Flute Guy for doing Shout Xenoblade out to Justice Flute at the Game Awards. Yeah. They actually, the Game Awards actually tweeted saying they found him on Twitter. That's hilarious. What a guy. Oh. I'm like, wow, they actually managed to find this guy. So, yeah, our last notable big game release was Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, oh, which God. glitches I, the game. I liked it. It was it was did not have a good release, um, but I think it, it's... It, the gameplay is awesome. Despite yeah. the in, despite the intro being like more more like what an hour long. Yeah, like. I think the the main thing to take away from that game is that though it had a very rough launch, a lot of the issues that the game had can be fixed and most likely will be fixed because of, you know, a, a formal apology being released. Yeah. Um, but even with the issues, there were a lot of people who enjoyed the game. Like, it's a very controversial topic to talk about right now because, like, you know, a lot of people are like, we don't like this game or we really like this game. And One it's, it's, may... One major complaint I have for Scarlet and Violet is when you're playing, you don't get the legendary Pokemon until like you beat the game. Mm -hmm. But you you already have it throughout the whole game. But it's your uh, it's your ride to yeah. move quickly around the place and to make it over tough obstacles. Yeah, we'll say. Alert. The, we'll say. <laughs> Okay, no, I don't care about spoiling the game for people now because it's been out long enough. You should at least seen gameplay. It's been out for a month. Anyway, um, yeah, great job. Alex. We'll say, <laughs> uh, I will say, character designs though, top notch, very and, good, very good. How many other Pokemon games can you think of where the main trainer, the one you play as, actually goes to school? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, no, 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 not just school, not just school. Sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches. Your best friend, um, if you don't know, your best friend makes you sandwiches, but you can either eat it or give it to your legendary Pokemon to yeah. power it up. Sandwiches. I'd eat my food. I'm not giving it to my dog. Pfft, cringe. You don't want to. You don't want to glide. You can't you don't give anything to your powerful. dog. You your dog doesn't exist. <laughs> Shh. I mean, I That's mean the best. True. I mean the. Trainer's best friend gives sandwiches to his dog, so that yeah. way it could actually battle again. That way it could be yeah, a dog. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be probably getting the game soon and playing it just about a month or a month and a half after it's been released to see if they fixed it's anything. Just sad. But, I mean, At even least, if they haven't, I'll probably still yeah. enjoy the glitches. Cause the glitches are gonna be just really funny. You know, I'm I'm at I mean, least happy that they owned up to it and was like yeah. released an apology, and they even offered they're like, if you seriously just want to get a refund for this game, like you really don't want to play it, then we'll do that. You know, yeah. You know what they Nintendo could apologize for? Not the, releasing new Switch hardware. The Joy-Con <laughs> drifting. Yeah. Oh my God! Thank <laughs> you. Their hardware needs to be fixed. But thank, hey. we wouldn't have a podcast if it weren't for that. That's true. I was going <laughs> to say, guys, we wouldn't have a podcast if Joystick or Joy-Con Drift didn't exist. That's true. So, even though our I original, say, even though our prototype logo was literally an Atari Twenty Six Hundred joystick. Yeah. Yeah. But then we switched to Nintendo, and then it was like, oh, well, we'll just do Joy-Con Drift. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Uh, but what Dougie will our B, podcast, listen, what will our it's name not mean? copyright infringement. I swear. But what will our name be once they fix the drifting, even though they most likely will not? Well, it'll no, just be it'll joystick, joystick, joystick drift. It'll still podcast. be joystick drift. What do you mean? Well, it's just, the, it, just, it just becomes the joystick podcast. There's no drift anymore. <laughs> Listen, I, I think joystick well, they're not fixed fixed it, so we don't have to worry about that. Good. 
Here's the thing. I think hey guys, the drift. Welcome back to the Joystick Podcast. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I feel like the drift now means more than just the hardware issue. It's it's the drift uh, is mean, our controversial <laughs> topics. Or with the fact that we drift off topic ninety percent of the time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's a double entendre, okay? <laughs> I, I will say. Oh, that word right there, dictionary entendre. To have <laughs> the conversation, a lot of people are saying or theorizing that there could be new hardware next year because <sighs> if you look at the lineup, it is literally 90% DLC, which could be debunked by saying, hey, we're not in next year yet, so we don't need to know a lot. True. But. I mean, this time last year, we knew more about what was coming out in 2022 than we did about 2023. So, just saying, there's also a new Zelda game coming out in the first half of the year. So, if they want to get another, you know, 28 million, we're selling out consoles again like they did in 2017. You could just drop a new console and then be like, hey, you can play the new Zelda on both, but it'll look a lot prettier on your new Nintendo Super Switch Pro XL. <laughs> And Knuckles. <laughs> and Knuckles. Oh, I'm looking at Twitter and I'm like, thanks, Nintendo. You're releasing this now. What? They announced Mega Man Legacy Collection Battle Network. No, I thought it was something important. <laughs> hey, uh, Mega anyway. Man is important. Damn. I'm going to stick to my guns. Uh, Switch Pro. Uh, I hit my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick to my guns. <laughs> Switch Imagine Pro. if it flew off though on his headset. <laughs> Switch Pro 2023. I've been wrong about everything up to this point. I said I Tears know, of the Kingdom even... 2021, <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom 2022, Tears of the Kingdom at the Game Awards 2021, Tears of the Kingdom mm -hmm. at the Game Awards 2022, Nick. Switch Pro 2021, Switch Pro 2022. Uh, I've been wrong, but I will stick to my guns for this one and say you it's better, cool oh my You God. literally always set yourself up for disappointment. Nick, did you ever uh, tell heck them? Yeah, did I you do. ever did you ever tell them about uh what I did in response to uh Tears of the Kingdom being delayed to twenty twenty three? No. <laughs> oh, okay. So a while ago, and this was like, I don't know, mid twenty twenty one or when it was announced to be 2022, I said, it's not coming out in 2022. It's going to be 2023. Yeah. And he was like, no, it's it's 100% 2022. <laughs> and by the point of mid-2022, he was like, no, it's coming out in November. And I was like, no, it is it is 100% 2023. So I told Wait, him. Were you trying to turn yourself point, into a Titan right there? At one point. No. <laughs> I, at one point, I said to him, I said, I will text you on every single app that I am able to text you on, and I will laugh if it gets announced for 2023. So when it did, within five minutes, Nick had like 20 notifications. I of still just have the me, screenshot. Of just <laughs> me laughing. I want to see the screenshot later. Same Listen. here. It's only me out of it. It's. It's fine, okay? I'll get something right eventually, okay? No, you won't. I mean, how's your... Right hey, Nick, what are you going to bet the Switch Pro on? Um, are you just, um, are just can't be Chick-fil-A the... this time, because right yeah. now you're suffering already. <laughs> yeah. If there's no Switch Pro by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, I won't eat Chick-fil-A until Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Can you stop? You already have with... that bet! <laughs> That's the point. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. It's got to be something. Stop yourself up for disappointment. It's not going to happen. Nick... Stop saying things, and it most likely will happen. If you say yeah. things, it won't happen. Okay. And you, you <gasps> won't if you and you suffer not oh. eating your favorite chicken. I'm a little worried about Melina. Oh, so before uh, Melina, hold your thought. I saw your the light bulb go off, <laughs> uh, and my camera did too. They was like, nah. I saw the light bulb go off in your head. Uh, hold that thought. But I went out with my family this weekend, and we we drove early in the morning, and we hadn't eaten yet. And my mom was like, can you put in a mobile order at Chick-fil-A? And I was like, well, I can't eat Chick-fil-A. And she was like, well, that's too bad. We're going to eat Chick-fil-A right in front of you. Uh, so I had to not only order the food on my phone, I had to walk in and get their food and then watch them eat it in front of me. All because I forgot to say that the, the bet starts on January 1st, like I did last year. 
<laughs> hey, it could be worse. So it sucks to be me. <laughs> hey, it could be worse. You could be watching your friends eat Chick-fil-A in the restaurant. Oh, I did do that once. That was <laughs> painful. Oh, my God. Uh, I got to enjoy Chick-fil-A and watching you suffer. Damn. So it's okay. I'll make it. And there will be a whole vlog and stuff. When You're I gonna do, have a whole Chick-fil-A buffet after, after it, the Loki, bed is over. honestly, I'm gonna order like a catering meal, <laughs> take it home, and just start eating the nuggets while I'm playing the game. It'll be great. It's uh, and it's all for you. But Melina, you had a light bulb moment. Do you share? Assuming you haven't forgotten. Um, I did have a light bulb moment for a completely different thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, I also just remembered that I went back because remember they showed those two clips of the Mar movie in uh, at the Game uh -huh. Awards. Um, I looked back. And I put them together to see how long they were, and it did equal to two minutes. <laughs> but they're not the same, like... I get that, but... They're not the <sighs> same clip, though. Okay, so you're helping me and not The other one is bet. a TV spot. Okay, we're no, good then, we're I'm, good. I'm pulling you out on a technicality, because I would do the <laughs> same thing for myself. Um, I went back and watched the reel where I made the bet about the Game Awards, and I was listening to it, and I was so specific. Instead of just saying that Tears of the Kingdom was there or that it won most anticipated game, I said that there would be new Tears of the Kingdom footage. <laughs> so I couldn't even say, like, oh, well, it was part of their 2023 sizzle reel. So it was there, and it won most anticipated game. So I won the bet. Now I had to get super specific. You so just what had should to I do open your mouth no, more. <laughs> what should I do if there's no Switch Pro? Restart Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And complete no, you the have to, whole no, 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 game you, no, 100%. No, no, no. You have to you have to play through the entirety of Persona 4. No, even better punishment. Play if there's no Switch Pro? If there's no Switch Pro, you have to play... No, Hold on. I'm not finished. You have oh, to no. play through <laughs> the entirety of Persona 4, but 100% it. All confidants. <gasps> no. I was... I'm still not done. I'm still not, not done. done. All confidants <laughs> and full compendium. That's I'm not, not going to act like I know what me. that is. I can't even do that. <laughs> Dude, he's going to die. You, you act like it's like it's a hard thing. It really isn't. As somebody who just did it, it's not that hard. And it's actually very How fun. many hours? Uh, 130. <laughs> about <laughs> Nick that's less the game than itself, like I have the game, 30 hours the game itself uh I did I didn't do it for four I did it for five and five was an 160 hour game my first playthrough so I shaved off 30 hours wow it's also that's called crazy. you follow a guide it's not that hard wow Nick uh, but then are you really playing the game when you're following a guide yeah you're still playing it I literally had to I literally had to look up guides on how to catch all 151 Pokemon in Pokemon Red. Yes, you're playing the game. Okay, there's a difference between following a guide to solve a puzzle or get a certain, a certain item and following a game, following a guide for a 100% run. So then why has Nintendo been releasing guidebooks for their games? You have to catch all 151 Pokemon <laughs> like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, actually, game. I'll tell you right now, it's it's actually uh, full, all, all confidants and all uh, a full compendium is not 100%. 100% is much more than that. Be happy. That means you have to do all the all the uh all the boss fights too, like all the uh secret bosses. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. There would be no way. I mean, too bad. If we no have him do that, or should Here. we make him play the Dong and Rappa games? <laughs> no. <laughs> if there's no Switch Pro. Here's here's what you could I'll do though. I'll stream Undertale. No. <laughs> Wait, Darn, what did he say? No, I'm I'm saying this. Actually, no. Here, here's here's what my my caveat will be. You can play Persona Four, right? But you stream it. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. It, wait, 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 wait. Is it a normal Persona Four? A run? normal like Persona I just play 4, the game. A normal Persona Four playthrough. Oh. Okay. But I have an you idea. Stream it. Now let Damn. me let me let me an make another clarifying statement. Does it have to be a Switch Pro, or if Nintendo comes out of complete left field and drops a next-gen console? I mean, you you already said Switch Pro. You've Did said those it multiple or. times. <laughs> Either or? Okay, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. I have a punishment you idea. You see, what's funny you, is, I'm. you see, what's great is I'm already 
going to get him to stream Persona 4 anyway. It's just... I mean, that's what you stress. guys are doing to me with Xenoblade 2, so... I, ha I have a punishment for Nick. Um, I have an idea okay. for... You have to play Psycho no Sudo Sudoka. What is that? A what? <laughs> Um, huh? Oh what? <laughs> so it so it's a hor it's an anime horror game. Dude, we're, oh, we're so putting... it's just Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> except stop being... making me play horror games. <laughs> except you're being followed by a s psychotic girl with a knife who's literally trying to kill you. Probably so yonder. <laughs> yes, essentially. She's smiling. Stop she's covered in blood. Making me play horror games. But it's an anime horror game with the yonder day. But I don't. I want to actually sleep at night. <laughs> I want to get sleep. I don't want to not sleep. See, the funny thing is, is that you're afraid of a Nick is the one who made, room. who created the sub goal. So he's the one that put himself in the position to play horror games. But you guys didn't tell me no. That's the problem. Well, yeah, because why would, why we? would we say no? <laughs> why would we say no? Anyway, we love watching. We we love watching each other suffer. Our last topic for today is our Nintendo in 2022 stats. Whee! I'm disappointed with mine. So, ev I'm low key, me too, a little bit. Me too. <laughs> uh, so, we can just go through, we can either go like all the way down, because there's the three, there's the most played, played at launch, and then three plus years of play. And then there's your favorite games of this year. Yeah. Um, uh, what, which, is, what number does yours, get, yours go up to? Mine's mine 18. goes up to 34. Ah. Uh, which it's literally just categorizing them by every game I played this year. Every game that I opened up and put some amount of time into. Okay, so I only played 18 games. So I we can we can just go based off of those. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed I won't do with mine. The played like, at launch and all that. Uh, does anyone want to guess what my top game was on Switch this year? Xenoblade Three. Xenoblade Three. False. Legend Xenoblade is Wild. actually number four. Was it Fortnite? It was Fortnite. Oh, wow. Why, I'm not Fortnite. Why are God we counting that? Because I don't consider Fortnite a real game. 134 <sighs> days at 214 hours. Okay. And then the next one is Hold Smash on, Bros. Hold on, say that again? Say that again? 134 days, 214 hours. <laughs> Colin is either disappointed or shocked. Hold on, sorry. Somebody just walked into my room. Anyway, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, and then my next one is Smash Bros. 99 days, 137 hours. Mm -hmm. Number three is Crunchy Roll. 83 days, 117 hours. Um, then is Xenoblade. 44 days, 113 hours. Uh, Mario Kart 8. 46 days, 47 hours. That's my top five. This one is just revealing my degeneracy. <laughs> yeah. do share what are your uh, top um, five games this year uh i where do i find the top five if you go all the way down to where it says what was your favorite game this year they and then have you them sort it by by time um, oh you you have yours uh, by time by, by yeah time. i have mine by time okay. not by month so number one was xenoblade chronicles 3 now <laughs> nick there was a reason i asked you to clarify you said 44 days, right? For Xenoblade? Yes. Yeah. Mine was 15. I put 103 hours into that game in 15 days. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> second, Impressive math. Second was uh, Splatoon 3, 17 days, 53 hours. Uh, third was Mario Kart, 27 days, 34 hours. Was, All right, was, Alex. Uh, <laughs> that, that was my top three. The The next oh. two aren't even that interesting. Like, it's eight days, 17 hours for Shining Pearl, and then three days, 14 hours for Bayonetta. Neat. Did you play them? <laughs> I did, but they weren't. The, the, it wasn't as interesting as, you know, 103 hours in 15 days. I did, uh, that's, that's I did, I did Persona 4 in uh, 13 days, and I beat that game at 121 hours, so. I currently have 18 days and 40 hours into Persona 5 Royal. So, my top five games this year. So, we got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 101 days played. 102 hours. Damn. 
I mean, we did play Smash a lot at school. That's yeah, why it's so I, high for me. And I didn't really play that much Nintendo uh, during school. I played PlayStation, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's fair. Uh, next, I got Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with 24 days and 63 hours. I don't know why. I don't know why I was playing that game. I already completed. Can't it wait too. to watch Tears of the Kingdom get like 700 hours uh, <laughs> and like uh, 87 days. <sighs> next, uh, number three, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with 42 days and 55 hours. Well, because also college as well. Yeah. I'm not and excited next... to 100% Tears of the Kingdom. Damn it. <laughs> And no, next, just wait. Nick, They're you'll... gonna add two thousand Koroks, and you know, a thousand of them are gonna be in the sky, a thousand not will be looking, on the land, and then a thousand will be it. underground. It's gonna be so bad. Uh, Nick, you'll be quite shocked with this one. Demon Slayer: The Hinokami Chronicles. Oh, that yeah, that sounds about right. Fifty-five days, forty-three hours. Dang. I was up to date with every update. And I won over like gosh, two hundred matches. Dang, you're actually online. good at the game. Shoot. That's just online. I got twelve days and fourteen hours in Demon Slayer. I need to, I need to play it more. And um, my last one, I'm quite happy. I'm quite shocked by, but my fifth uh, most played game this year was Pokemon Scarlet. Dang, that jumped up real quick. And 12 days and 33 hours. Nice. I was, I was just... And I still have not gotten my Garchomp up, up to level 100. He's level 92. My most powerful Pokemon. Nice. And... All I can say is... I'm quite shocked that Pokemon Scarlet is my number 5. But I'll be honest though, this thing, oh. this thing was is not up to date for me because this this list also contains Sword Art Online Fatal Bullets. Well, yeah, but it it has a it has a cutoff. Yeah, because uh, according to my Switch, I put in over tw I put in over like twenty hours. I think the cutoff is December first because Fortnite says I have two fourteen hours when I know I have well over two thirty. Yeah, I have so, like over 20 hours in Sword Art Fatal Bullets. But right here it says only three days in one hour. It is what it is. It is what it is. Melena, what is your... I already know what your top... I already know what your number one game is. What is it? Is it Metopia? Yeah. <laughs> I'm disappointed by my list. It's only because I literally haven't picked up my, my Switch until I got Metopia. I haven't played it since since almost starting at full sail that's Dang, how that's yeah crazy. so like a whole year of not playing and then plus I, honestly well actually not more than that um but yeah okay, i want to hear Metopia, i played days i had 19 days played 88 hours my second one there's four here my second one would be mario kart 8 <laughs> six days nine hours <laughs> Mind you, though, that's just when I played with you guys, and then the one day I took to get all the trophies for the new tracks. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I want to hear from those who who have switched sports. Uh, what does it say for you? Because for me, it says five days played, but how many hours? Switch sports? What? I have 16 days, 24 hours. Guess how many hours I have? None. One. Just one I mean, hour. Oh, wait, no, I, I have one like that in here. I have one like that in here. So my third one is Tetris. <laughs> Tetris? Where is that on my... Tetris 99. That? Eight days, six hours. And my last one. I'm so disappointed by this because I deleted it because I was like, oh, I don't really like it. Two days, I one hour. Fall, guys. Let's go. 13, 13 days, 10 hours for Tetris. Uh... What two two hours for Fall Guys? Yes, two hours for Among Us. Oh my I God. find that hard to believe because we so, played a lot of Among Us and Nick's. What I'm hearing is 
are we need to all play more Nintendo games next year. Yeah, that's literally this that's list makes have me have better hate. Switch tests. It'll be a lot easier though with Tears of the Kingdom. That's going to be difficult. I'll have Tears of the Kingdom in top 5. Look, no offense, but that's going to be difficult for me. I'm going to be drowning Why? myself in Tears of the Kingdom, bro. I'm You'll be I'm drowning, be drowning in tears? Okay, I'm going to act like you did not just dab. Okay. Do it then. Um, but the problem with me playing Nintendo is that I'm going to be I'm going to be playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII remake games. I mean, okay. there's yeah, the there's remake, plenty of Nintendo integrate, games for you. Uh, reunion, and then there's um, Final Fantasy XVI is not coming out anytime soon. Yeah, it is. It's coming out next year, is it not? Six, I thought they announced it for next year at the Game Awards. June 20, sure. June 20, June 22nd. Yeah, so there's going to be that game. There's also going to be uh, Spider-Man 2. Oh, that's true. We okay. We're gonna have to find a way for all of us to say where we're at in Tears of the Kingdom without spoiling. Yep. It. Oh yeah. Because I do want to do like a first impressions episode, um, but we're gonna have to all like at least be on this like. What's whatever the lowest wait, common denominator is? What's the exact date that it comes out? Okay. May 12th, 2023. Okay, May so 12th? my wallet's going to hate me. Yeah. My wallet is going to hate me on uh, June 22nd, the release day of Final Fantasy 16, because I'm getting the deluxe edition. Right now, I have a Tears of the Kingdom first impression set for May 31st, which is a Wednesday. Uh, but that gives us a little over two weeks with the game. I'm going to have it do done a by first then. Impression. <laughs> Uh, low key, me too. <laughs> no, because here's the thing. When I first got Breath of the Wild, I shit you not. Oops. Um, I played. <laughs> I beat it in three days, bro. I. I it won't be first I impressions. It It'll so be much. a review. <laughs> I was low like, key, I would be shocked <gasps> if I don't have like a full time job by then, unless the podcast is my full time job. Who knows? Um, but if I don't have a full time job by then, and I can play it like friday saturday sunday all day there is a good chance i'll be done with like half of it in the first weekend <laughs> i mean i'll be tired uh, but that, um, i'll play it during that, the day that game comes out like literally two days after i graduate so yeah it comes out <laughs> a week after i turn 21 so i can just sit back relax have a drink legally i'm older than Zelda. you yeah, by like six months. I forgot. You're just figuring this out. Yeah, I forgot. Melina's the oldest one here. I, I am. Yes. What the? Colin's a year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. What? I turn. I turn 21 in March. Ah, oh, damn it! Alex is older than me. Okay, I, I feel like we all forgot March. each other's birthdays. I'm a year older than Colin, kind of. Sure doesn't wait, look it. Are you all O2 then? I'm O2. Alex oh, no, is wait. O2. Colin oh, no, wait, is O3. I, according, no, wait, with Nick, according to Nick, I'm the oldest because I he thought I was 26. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Some people Listen, think you I'm had 26. like the full you had the full facial hair going, okay? You can't blame <laughs> me for thinking that. It's not my fault. Yes, I've it is your fault. You. For I never that. interacted with you before. Damn. Oh, excuse me, because we were just getting back on campus. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, well, my gosh. Well, gang, what would we say for Nintendo this year? On a scale of A to 10. <laughs> what? A to 10? How does that work? On a scale of A to 10. A to where would you put, put this Could year in Nintendo? <laughs> Oh, wait, like I get it, because he puts, it's the alphabet, and then after the alphabet is written out, it's the different, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go with that. <laughs> so is 10 the lowest or the highest? The highest. <laughs> um, it's kind of tough to say. I would say it was a, okay, I'll do uh I'll give it an M for mid. <laughs> Yes! You're, okay, probably, we you're can, probably not wrong. We can fully commit to the scaling then. Uh I'll give it a I'll give it a Z. 
Actually, no. I'll that give it an bad? E for endless now. <laughs> <laughs> or no, no. Correction. I'll give it an X for Xenoblade. That's my final. Oh, I... <laughs> final. Final rating. Okay, you two. What do we do? It's a good year. Um, hold on a second. Oh, Alex, Alex is trying are to. You... Alex, Hold on. I, I want to make sure this. I want to make sure this will make sense. Okay, I give an F for Final Fantasy VII Reunion. <laughs> but that's not Nintendo. <laughs> it's an. In, it's on Switch. Oh no, Crisis Core is on Switch. Yes, it is. Reunion. Cri that's, that's Crisis Core. <laughs> Reunion is, is Crisis it? Core. Colin? You're literally right, so talking Colin. about Final Fantasy VII fan right here. Colin, don't, you're gonna Colin, wrong? don't go. <laughs> <laughs> don't Chill, wait. You we can't need to leave. know your ranking between A through 10. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd give this year for Nintendo a solid uh, half full camera battery out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give this uh, a C for Chris Pratt Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> No, because next tell year is me... definitely gonna be a wahoo. No, here's the thing though, because I I ran into a video on my timeline, and it was like, um, the Mario movie trailer, but I did the voice better. Yeah, oh, no. I saw I'm that. I'm like, one. what? <laughs> I'm like, who are you? Bruh. Some random guy, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Well, kids, I think that's it. I think we're done for the year. Damn. Thank you, everyone for listening, supporting, subscribing, liking, following on Instagram, all the things. We appreciate your support. 2023 is going to be a great year. We got all kinds of good stuff planned. Also, we got a new Zelda game coming out. Woo! So, of course, we're going to like absolutely go crazy with the Zelda stuff as we get closer to that. So, we will see you guys in two weeks. Or, well, three weeks, I think. Is... We'll see you How guys in 2023. <laughs> we'll see you guys on January 11th, 2023. Thanks for watching and listening, and we'll see you next year. Peace. Peace. Out.